Yo, what's happening? This is King Nana and you're tuned in to Victory Streams TV. Today I'm doing an interview with a very, very special guest who goes by the name of Yahweh Unique, Unique Creations. I know him by the name of Ope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giving out government names and yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we're here today to interview him on one or two things that he's got lined up for, for you as um, his, his fans and his, um, those who work with him and stuff like that. So to begin with, um, I'd just like you to introduce yourself. What is your artist name um, and what name do you go by and explain a bit about that? All right, no problem. My, I go by the name of Unique Creation. On my social networks, it is Yahweh Unique because Unique Creation is taken. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> and all the other Unique type stuff is taken. But yeah, it's Unique Creation. And uh, what the reason I chose that name, I started off as a battle MC. And uh, I used to have another name, I'm not going to mention it. Uh, <laughs> and um, it was all about battling and just trying to rip up the other people. From the but days of clashing. Exactly, <laughs> clashing days. You yeah. know, yeah, when people were cruising for 14 MCs. Yeah. 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 And, um, and uh, as time went on, uh, I started going to church. And um, I, my, you know, the way I saw things, my worldview and values started to change. So I knew that name had to change as well. That person was dead because I was born in this or that to die. And um, I was thinking of, uh, okay, whoop what name suits what I'm trying to do. So the name Unique Creation came up because I realized that we're all unique creations. We are created by a creator and we are supposed to be. We're all one of a kind. Yeah. We're all made for a specific purpose, a specific mission, but sometimes we don't embrace who we are wow. because we. it's easier to blend in with the crowd than to speak out. Mm -hmm. You speak your own mind sometimes. Wow. So from there, I just thought, yeah, Unique Creation is what it is. It really is the message. Wow, that's, yeah, that's you it. heard it here first, Unique Creations. Yeah. Right, so as you know, he's, his artistry is rap, and he's a very, very talented rapper. Um, he's a part of, just to get a bigger bigger picture before we zone into what we're going to be speaking about today, um, you're a part of a group, is that correct, who go by the name of FMG UK. You want to give us a little bit of info Oh, on yeah, man, that's FMG, the okay. music group, the UK group. It's just a collective of um, artists who believe in the same group, who believe in the same mission, I'm just trying to spread the gospel and the right message to everyone. Wow. There's too much to do out here. <laughs> uh, and we all believe in the same thing, we're a part of the same movement. And yeah, that's FMG UK, man, in, the, in a nutshell. Wow. Um, there's a lot to come. You'll be seeing a lot from us, a lot more discussions, you know, just to open up, up the shell of what, you know, it is to be part of that movement. I feel blessed to be part of it. Shout out to Ender Paul Sandu, shout out to Sabrina Hilaire, shout out to Feedem, yeah. man, shout out to everyone in FMG family, man. Wow. It's, it's a good family. Clear be done, that was happening. Wow. Much love to everyone. Man. Ever growing family, ever growing family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this year you've got a lot of things that you're putting together to put out there. Yeah. Um, namely, to begin with, you've got an EP named Dark Season. Is yeah. that correct? You yeah. want to tell us a little bit about Dark Season? Oh man. What we can expect from Dark Season? Uh, Dark Season is two years of honesty. Um, the, wow. the EP was made over a like, string of two years and those two years there were many dark seasons and they just seemed to really just string into each other mm. and each, each time I ask God a genuine question each song on that EP is chronolog chronologically organised in the way God answered them so each song is an answer to, answer to a question so I thought yeah it's best to share that it was in a dark season but each song is just songs of encouragement and answers for people who have those the, the same questions that I did. Hope it helps you as well. So yeah, that's the dark season in the nutshell. Sure, really. Wow, that's deep. I've noticed that the best artists are always those who put a lot of thought into their music and don't just make music simply for the sake of making music, but there's a reason and there's an inspiration. Mm. Um, which leads us on to your up and coming music video, <laughs> which is entitled Fashionista. Oh yeah. But before yeah. we even get into that, I just want to clear something up because I was a bit unsure. <laughs> when I heard the title, this is the first time hearing the word fashionista. Yeah. When I heard it, I thought, all right, maybe this is a diss track for people like me who have no swag. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm out here with a pole in there because it's like oh. 40 degrees. <laughs> but oh, what is the meaning of fashionista? Do you want to help us to understand that? Oh man, a fashionista is somebody that's always in the fashion trend. It's always in the most updated, most, um, I guess, the one, yeah, what's in fad right now, what's in fashion, what's relevant, mm. a fashionista is always up to date, it's mm. always updated, it's always in fashion, and that's what a fashionista is. Okay, yeah. alright, that clears that up, so it's not yeah. a distract to me. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but my, hey, let's feel in the turn, you know, let's come out with a different Summer time, turtle neck. Still, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me just straighten it up a bit, just think. <laughs> oh, all man. Right. But, when you speak about fashionista, um, mm. and the video in itself, what inspired you? 
um, as an artist for the creation of this song? Oh man, um, at that point was me asking questions. Um, there, used to, there was a point where me and uh, Indipo and a few more people from our church, we used to evangelize every week, once a week, wow. every Friday at our city center, always evangelizing, always just going out there, spreading the message. And the thing is, it's so easy to forget that you're in a battlefield. You're at the war front when you're out there. There's power in words. So when you're spreading the good news, there are people spreading bad news, That's right. confusing news, disturbing news, all sorts of things. And sometimes they throw at you questions that you can't necessarily answer. But our eyes and ears are the windows to our soul. You know, we're taking things all the time. We wow. see things, we hear things. And when they ask those questions, you don't have the answers to everything. You don't know who's coming at you when you approach that stranger. Mm. And over the years, so many questions, so many cases have been brought up. And this is me being honest that it's almost because I couldn't answer and the people who I went to researching and all that, it was almost as if, wow, man, mm. where's the answer to this? Where's the answer to wow. this? And a lot of it just went around the whole relevance of Christianity, how relevant is it? Even listening to people from different churches and just different Christian backgrounds, it's almost as if they didn't, they, they saw some, you know, they pushed some concept of the word, but tried to hide others. Mm. Or they just skimmed over it. It's yeah. almost as if some people say, oh yeah, you know, like, oh, the Old Testament is not relevant anymore, sort mm. of thing. It's not that it's not relevant, it's just more showing God's standards. It's, mm. it's bigger than that, but things like that. So it's like, yo, does that mean that the word's not re relevant no more? I even go into discussions with women about, you know, praying with, you know, covering your head when you pray. What's the meaning, what's the meaning of that? Um, just loads of things, wow. loads of things. And, it, and people can put up such strong cases that will make it look like certain parts of the word it's outdated, and if it's outdated, that means the word as a whole is irrelevant because wow. it all because it's all one whole. You can't take no little bits out. Wow. So I, I really start asking God, like, God, what is this? What is this? We're Christians, right? Mm. So why should we be afraid of if we are, if we know that it, what we say is true? If we know that what we say is right, why is there so much fear in the kingdom? When I say so much fear, not everyone's afraid, but there's a lot of people, everyone's different. Some people don't, we're in a society right now that tries to make us ashamed of our, our identities, right? They try and make us ashamed, they try and make us feel bad. They say we're intolerant, but we're not the people screaming intolerance, intolerant, are uh, actually intolerant themselves because you're not tolerating me just for sitting down here. And it just, I mean, just to give an example, um, I remember uh, somebody, a friend, you know, I call him a friend now. Uh, when we first started talking, he didn't know I was Christian. So eventually, you know, I said it, I'm a Christian. And the way he used to act around me changed. Mm. To the point where he wasn't comfortable unless he was challenging me. Mm. You know, questioning me. Are you sure you're right? Yeah. What if you're wrong? One of them ones. Yeah, <laughs> you, you only live once. Then answer this question then. Why does God let bad things happen to people? That's oh. the famous one they like <laughs> yeah. to bring out first. And you, you know, it just becomes a lot. And I mm. start questioning my identity a lot. God, what's going on? Am I even living the doctrine out right? Do I understand the word correctly? I could be wrong. All sorts. And his answer was, you're starting to, you're, you're becoming insecure in where I've, where I've secured you. That's how he answered. You're becoming insecure in where I've secured you. You know, even where, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rapper. I'm a grime lyricist, you know. They go to certain churches, they still don't accept that. They say, oh, devil, 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 hip-hop, all this stuff. <laughs> so you start questioning who you are, your purpose, your art, your craft, everything. And it's like, I've placed you here. You know that I've placed you here. Why are you listening to them? Wow. And there's a lot of Christians out there, a lot of believers, who are placed in the right places to do certain things that only they can do. That's right. Like carpenters, spoken word, public speakers, pastors, teachers, evangelists, all sorts, prophets, even though a lot of people still don't believe that prophecy is out there. If it, if the word says it's out there, then it's right. out there. That's right. But even in the kingdom itself, there's a lot of questioning going on. And it's easy, to, you could get lost in the source. You can forget your own identity because of all the flashing lights out there. And that's what fashionist is about. We're humans. Yes, we're imperfect, so we make mistakes, but we're still the body of Christ as right. Christians. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people who identify themselves by certain things. So it's more about 
your personal relationship with God, mm. not what somebody else says your personal relationship should be. Wow. If that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if you know that you've been real with God, and if you know that your private worship life is, you know, constant and on point with God, mm. then He's gonna lead you to the promised land, not somebody else, mm. not your mom, not your dad. He will. That's right. So, this, regardless of whether me and you could sit down and talk all day and not fully agree, but if your relationship with God is going. Mm then that's what matters. That is your fashion statement. There's the armor of God. It tells you that's your character. Mm. Just showing that you have clothes. The word says fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Mm. Fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. It talks about giving you a new robe, new clothes, or armor. So we do have our own fashion statement. We're, no two people will ever be the same, but that's fine. That's fine. You're made to be an original. There'll never be another you. You come, you leave this planet, there's no other you. So be a fashionista. You're always relevant in the world. You're wow. always relevant in Christ. Regardless, the sidewalk is your catwalk. <laughs> you stand stand up, put your head tall. Who you are is who you are. Wow. You are, you are. You are created by the, all, the almighty creator, the triune God, the most high. He made you fearfully and wonderfully made. That means fearfully in the word is respectfully. So if people don't respect you, then they don't deserve your ear. Mm. You were respectfully made with reverence. Wow. Embrace who Jesus Christ says you are. Embrace who the Bible says you are. Mm. That is your fashion statement. Come on. It will never go out of fashion, regardless of how they try and make it. The reason why they haven't hot and bothered in the first place is because there's weight in that identity. Wow. There's wow. weight there or else they wouldn't be bothered at all. So remember, you are a fashionista. Yeah. It's an encouragement to the Christians. It is, it is, it is. It is. We're going to be right back with some more questions, but for now, take a look at this. Red eyes behind sunshades, restless, can't sleep, haunted mind, no peace, problems that don't cease, closed doors with no keys, princess trust, oh please, surrounded by friends who are enemies, most don't know that they're meant to be, more than a walking show with no destiny, dead way of thinking, rotted minds stinking, no longer connecting dots, no thoughts are linking, used up with nothing left, craving life and sinking, pedal to the metal till your exhaust is stinking, fast lane, NASCAR, black lane, white bars, Green lights, red cars, congestion, high charge So head straight to the train station Get to the nearest space station Get your game and space face on Countdown, take off, go far No stopping, out of this world, space rocket Be a star, no stopping, out of this world, space rocket Go far, no stopping, out of this world, space rocket Be a star, no stopping, out of this world, space rocket Go far, no stopping Okay, so we're back again with this interview with Unique Creations yeah, yeah. And we're looking at his upcoming video fashionista mm. so in the video what can people expect to see or learn from the video oh man just pure celebration wow. of who you are wow. celebration of being a christian Ce celebration of being a fashionista there's already enough knocking us down mm. celebrate who that's you right. are that's what the song is about man celebration that's celebrate right <laughs> who you are who god says you are your identity wow. celebrate it. i've yeah, heard like it's, snippets it's, yeah. of the track <laughs> but I'm, I'm waiting for the full video to come out. I'm Jeez. sure that people do. <laughs> we just love it when it comes out. So oh, where, where will people be able to find the video? Oh man, it's coming out on YouTube. Um, YouTube. It's going on Grand Daily. Wow. Um, it's, I'm going to try and get wow. it on uh, SBTV as well. But okay. uh, that's just me saying I'm going to put it up there. But yeah. we'll see. But definitely YouTube and oh. Grand Daily. Wow. Out. YouTube and Grand Daily. You heard it here first. Yeah. Make sure that you cop. I mean, you you watch it. Yeah, watch, <laughs> watch it, it and watch cop it. the songs, man. Cop the Spread songs as well. Yeah, yeah, that's friends. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Shit, there is there anywhere friends. that the people can get your EP Dark Seasons? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can get it on any e store. You can get it on iTunes. Uh, you can get it on Spotify. You can get it on Deezer. You can get it on Xbox Music. You can wow. get it on Audio, YouTube. You can actually purchase it in most e stores that you like. Just check it out. It should be in there. But I just mentioned the obvious ones because that's yeah. where most people are on. So wow. yeah, on Amazon too. You can get it on there. So yeah, yeah. Upwards and forwards. Upwards and forwards. Amen to that. So, yeah. <laughs> so how can people um, get to? maybe connect with you on social media. What are your social media tags and everything like that? Uh, yeah, oh man, uh, sorry about this, but uh, <laughs> my uh, social media tags on Insta, Twitter and Facebook, it's, exact, it's exactly the same. So it's Yahweh Unique 
So remove the first H out of Yahweh. I just can't claim that full name. <laughs> so Yahweh unique. So like Y A H E W A Y A W E H. Okay, I knew that. I was just yeah. testing. I was just testing. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. <laughs> yeah, one word. Yahweh unique. Okay. Um, I tried to get unique creation. It's taken. So okay. yeah, Yahweh unique was the next one. Really. All right, that's cool. So make sure you connect. I'll put all his social media handles in the description box below. Make sure you connect with him mm. and show some love. Yeah, right. yeah. But it's been a pleasure having you here with us. My bro, it's been a pleasure being here, man. You do all the best with your EP Thank and with you, your upcoming video. Thank you. Until next much, time, man. this has been your host, all the way from West London, Jeez. King Nana. That's right. Peace. Bless. Yeah. <laughs>